That's a, I mean, that's a huge, and it just shows how quickly, with good instruction, that can happen. And, you know, you coming right back from downrange a year ago, I mean, I learned new things about tactics and what was working and what isn't that, that I wasn't aware of. And so it really did. It ran the entire gamut. You guys should be really, really happy with the program that you put together. And, you know, that's, it just was really, really good. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. Anybody else have anything we can improve right now that you might have thought of? You know, I, I loved everything, but um, it's a lot of terminology to take in at yeah. once, especially for a lay person. So I would just say try to dumb some of it down. Like, even things like can't, or I'm not sure, you know, I'm, is that a tilt? I mean, I think that is, you know, and just things like that. Absolutely. So conversely, you guys, and I, I want you to be very specific when I ask this question, because I know you're immediately going to say RBT. But what is, what is the skill, experience that you had a specific thing that we should absolutely not change, remove, we should stick to it? Um, that, that thing that you feel sticks out in your mind and you got the most of. And I'll go around to everybody if you need to. Go ahead. The hugest thing is just the gun handling. I mean, that, everything else, and I mean, it was such a surprise to see how we were, like you said, running up range with weapons hot, and that, to me, that was, you know, I, I've shot before, I never felt that comfortable with a weapon, I mean, my weapon is on the, on the range table, so that, it seems like a stupid thing, but to me, that's the biggest thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, anybody else? I was just saying, I tighten up the nomen your nomenclature, the, the, you know, the, the specific verbiage that you're using on the range, I get that tightened up so that every time we went to the range it was it was it was good, it was repetitive, like okay, firing drill and all that stuff. But you know, I would I would just make sure that across the board, because I was jumping from room to room and just making sure that every instructor is is handling that the same way. You know, it was always preparatory command and then action command and I would that that if there was one critique, I'm like, it's all nitpicky stuff, man. It's just it stuff. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. nitpicky yeah. stuff makes us better. Tight, tightening up, yeah. tightening up the verbiage on the range would be good. Would be good. That'll help with him, with his problem, okay. with not knowing, knowing, not knowing the verbiage. Any other, any other quick, any other specific experiences or skills or whatnot that you that we did that you is gold for you. Go ahead. <clears throat> Um, I've never really had a lot of personal confrontations and like fights, so the kind of mental conditioning that you guys were kind of instilling in us, coupled with, I don't know the name of the first exercise that I went through, but I was at the bottom of the stairwell with you and you ate close. Tour drills. What's it called? Tour drills. That one was probably the most impactful just to show how fast things can go bad and just to understand spatial like awareness. Um, so someone at that door frame can just be on me in a second. And I've never really been able to quite understand, you know, well, where might a threat be or how much time do I have. I don't, there's no doubt now, I understand that's, you know, beyond that door I'm safe for a few seconds. Everyone in this room could get to me and, yep. and that was a big light went off, huge for the rest of the course. Uh, one of the things that I really liked, and I don't know if it, I'm, I'm guessing this was by, by design and not just an issue of being a three-day course, but it wasn't where it was like we were on the range for a day and then the next day we were all on RBT. I liked how you know you're down there and you're doing you're doing range training and you're learning skill set and you're learning tactic and then at any time you never know when you get called up and like hey you're RBT let's go and within five minutes you know I'm taking fire and returning fire. And what that really simulates, it creates that, it adds to that stress. You never know when it's going to come. So it's like we're down there, we're doing some of the stuff's monotonous, we're going through the training drills, and then it's like, boom, you're going. And so it's like you're at the grocery store, you're just doing something monotonous, something that you're used to doing. You're doing repetitions of it, and then all of a sudden, you're in a fight or flight scenario. And so I really liked how you guys just, you kept it running, it kept the flow working too. But having people just being pulled out at any time, any random time, that really, that added a stress element. And it helped, you know, having to, to really focus in and, and make that switch. And so I really liked how you guys did that. Yeah, thank you. I definitely second that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was good. And then even coming down from there, and now you're doing a new a new range practice that you weren't doing before. All of a sudden you're shooting from here and you're running back for cover. And you were, yeah. you know, I just went from stress to, I mean, a lot of stress to stress. 
You haven't even cooled down yet. Let's and just keep going. <laughs> on, on top of that, I want to commend the instructors yes. too because we have people coming in and going out between drills, and it's like you guys have never skipped a beat. Yeah. Man, like you just you got people in. It, there, it was always safe when you're moving people in. Um, but it wasn't like okay, every time somebody left, all right, let's stop for five minutes, let's take fifteen minutes break. You know, it, you guys just kept things going, and so that was that's that's really a skill set and, and a, a testament to, to your guys' uh, ability to teach. You were gonna make. Did you ever come? Yeah, you guys just overall forced me to be more aware of my surroundings everywhere. Myself, anything around me. Before that really wasn't, I don't know, I just kind of lived, I guess. And now I'm very aware of who, what is, I am, is around everything. I appreciate that. It's necessary. And I didn't realize it before. Awesome. Good. Three quick things. Number one was the candor and the honesty around flipping the switch. I just think, you know, immediately day one, I think it was day one, it was just extremely important. And then two, if we ever find ourselves in this unfortunate situation like that where we have to act, is um, coaching around the 911 call. I mean, to me, that's invaluable. Um, and then three, I think, uh, oh, fuck, I forgot my third one. <laughs> is, uh, I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, we'll come back. Yeah.